Hi, welcome to the discussion of construction of hypocyclide. What do you mean by hypocyclide? Hypocyclide is a curve traced by a point on the circumference of a circle which rolls along another circle and inside it without slipping. Then the main keyword here is the circle rolls inside the another circle. Here the given problem is a circle of 60 mm diameter rolls inside another circle of 180 mm diameter name the curve draw tangent and normal to the curve at a point 40 mm from the center of the directing circle here the given data is r small r is radius of the rolling circle Kaplar radius of the directing circle next small r is equal to 30 mm Kaplar is equal to 90 mm and theta is equal to small r by Kaplar into 360 degrees which is equal to 30 by 90 into 360 which is equal to 120 degrees that is angle supplied by the arc is 120 degrees radius of the rolling circle is 30 mm and radius of the directing circle 90 mm and angle supplied by the arc 120 degrees now we will construct the hypocyclide draw one reference line after that locate a point O that would be the center of the directing circle radius of the directing circle is 90 mm say P OP is the radius of the directing circle that is 90 mm then get P as a center and rolling circle radius as a radius draw an arc inside the P say C C is the center of the rolling circle CP is the radius of the rolling circle now C as a center CP as a radius after drawing the circle divide the circle into 12 parts we can use compass for dividing the circle into 12 parts even we can use even protractor also Now CP as a radius at this particular point as a center, draw an arc. That is, we are dividing the circle into 12 parts without protractor. then give numbers say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 here the circle rolls in counter clockwise direction join the division points to the center 
draw an arc in such a way that angle PO P dash is equal to 120 degrees. So, to OP draw 120 degrees line and divide this angle into 12 parts. After that, O as a center, OP as a radius. This arc is a direct arc. This angle is 120 degrees. O as a center parallel to PP dash passing through different division points on the rolling circle say O1 as a radius. Similarly, O2 as a radius and then we have to draw an arc passing through C and parallel to PP dash. O as a center, OC as a radius. Say C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7, C8, C9, C10, C11, C12. Here P is the point on the circumference of a rolling circle and the circle rolls in counterclockwise direction. C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, etc. are the centers for drawing different arcs centers for drawing different arcs now c1 as a center cp as a radius draw an arc on the first division arc in a anti clockwise direction cp c1 as a center similarly c2 as a center draw an arc on the second division C3, third division, C4, fourth division, C5, fifth division, C6, sixth division. Like that, we have to draw arcs, say C7, seventh division, C8, eighth division, C9, 9th division C10 10th division C11 11th division then C12 12th division passing through these points draw smooth curve say P1 P2 P3 P4 P5 P6 P7 P8 P9 P10 P11 P12 that smooth curve is called hypocycloid. This curve is called hypocycloid. That is, construction of hypocycloid is over. Then we have to draw the normal and tangent. That normal and tangent is at a distance 40 mm from the center of the directing circle. So, O as a center, 40 mm as a radius, draw an arc on the hypocycloid. Name this point as M. Then 
CP as radius that is 30 mm as radius M as a center CP as radius M as a center draw an arc on the locus of path or passing through center of the rolling circle name this point as Q then join O and Q and extend towards directing arc join O and Q extend towards directing arc name this point as N then join N and M this is normal perpendicular to normal tangent say t t dash then we have to do the dimensioning This is the diameter of the rolling circle. Radius of the generating circle that is 90. Tangent point at a distance 40 mm or 40. That's about the construction of hypocycloid.